I want to address something. I just want to address something. Is that okay? Okay, today, I want to talk about this, this first British slave ship to reach the Americas. Wonder what the name was called of it. The first British slave ship to reach the Americas was called the Good Jesus, y'all. Yes, it was called a Good Jesus, believe it or not. And let's let's see about this guy that is called Sir John Hawkins. You know what I'm saying? No matter what I say, he was the first slave ship captain to bring the Africans to the to the Americas. Hawkins was a religious gentleman, so he said. He assisted that his crew serve the most high daily and love one another. His ship was ironically called a good Jesus. We already know that name is a Greek pagan name. This guy, he left the shores of his native England. Africa in October 1562 and he arrived at Sierra Leone in a short time and he had 300 blacks in his possession and Hawkins claimed to have acquired them partly by the sword and partly by other means so yes man the good ship Jesus it's crazy man and this was the first British ship slave ship at that to arrive in the Americas with multiple slaves upon it and this is the same name that we accept salvation under this is the same name that we be baptized under this is the same name that we are so called casting out demons in this is the same name that we are prophesying in get it right y'all wake up man this is madness this is madness man Like I said, Sir John Hawkins was a cousin of Sir Francis Drake. He was granted permission from Queen Elizabeth for his first voyage. In 1562, he was allowed to carry Africans to the Americas with their own free consent, and he agreed to this condition. Hawkins had a reputation, man, for being a religious man who would cry his crew to serve the Most High daily to love one another. Like I said, man, this man was wishy-washy, y'all. Sir John Hawkins, a bound slave, adorned John Hawkins a coat of arms off the coast of Africa near Sierra Leone. Hawkins captured 300 to 500 slaves, man, mostly by plundering Portuguese ships, but also through violence off the coast of Africa. Violence, man. He used violence capture these slaves you know promising the Africans free land and riches in the new world you know he sold most of the slaves in what is now known as the Dominican Republic he returned home with a profit of ships laden with ivory high as end sir thus this began the British slave trade but this man said that he was religious this man said he was a religious man that's why you can't have religion, y'all. Because you can see right here, you can see a total depiction right here that this man was so-called religious, making the slaves serve the Most High daily and love one another. But then he turned around, capturing 300 to 500 slaves, plundering Portuguese ships, and and and, and using violence, man. Using violence to terrify these slaves promising the Africans free land and riches in a new world. Come on, y'all. Stop this madness, man. Get out of here with this, man.